Hi friends, welcome back. So in this video, we will learn about what is the velocity in Agile project. The velocity is an another measure, the amount of work that uh, Scrum team can complete a single iteration or sprint in Agile development. It is the key here in the velocity parameter. Velocity will be calculated based on the summing of the total user story points or total uh, task hours for the completed uh, each sprint. If you can take an example, let's say we have a mobile application where uh, you wanted to check the velocity for that given sprint, which is lasted for two weeks. Then how will we calculate the velocity? So here is the some of the example. Let's say in the given uh, sprint, we have taken uh, four user stories and each user story is having this kind of story points. And we have to add up uh, all these uh, story points A, B, C, D then it ends up with a 18 uh, point uh, we have completed as part of the given sprint that means the overall team's velocity is 18 story points but again uh, this velocity which is defined for a given particular sprint can vary in another sprint as well because which involves various uh, factors as well like uh, team composition complexity of the work unforeseen challenges as well impact the overall velocity this is how we calculate the velocity parameter in agile project what is lead time in agile lead time is nothing but it is a time taken to complete the overall uh, things from the requesting uh, that work item to the delivery in agile software product from when we got that uh, requirement and when we deliver that uh, requirement or user story the entire uh, period we call it as a lead time if you take an example how we normally calculate the lead time here is nothing but the lead time is nothing but the request we got from the customer that user story placed in the backlog and the backlog refinement has happened once that is done and we as a scrum team they picked up that uh, backlog and they implemented it that is the time if you add up all those things let's say requirement uh, fulfillment is one week and uh, product uh, refinement is two days and implementation is three weeks then overall uh, lead time for implementing a particular uh, work item is four weeks two days for in this example then we will call it as a that is a lead time which is completed by the team to complete a given work item that is how this lead time is working in agile projects what is uh, cycle time in agile again this is also another measure or another parameter we use in agile cycle time is a time it takes for a work item to be completed from the time it started in agile software project if you take an example here is cycle time we can call it as a pull time the pull time here is nothing but the pull time is the time to pull the user story from the sprint backlog after the sprint planning meeting is over and the development time which is a sprint uh, time and again testing time also we have added and review time is also added as part of the oral effort to complete that work item if you take an example full time is uh, where a user should is got full from the backlog normally half a day we may take for sprint planning meeting three days time to implement that uh, uh, user story and uh, one day for testing it and uh, 0.5 days for uh, reviewing time then uh, what is a cycle time we can call it as a five days as a overall uh, cycle time what is throughput in agile throughput is a number of work items completed over a period of time in agile software development number of work items completed over a particular period of time that is we call it as a throughput in agile then we will see how we can calculate uh, throughput in agile is nothing but the completed user stories let's say we have planned for uh, 10 user stories in that uh, 8 user stories are completed and overall sprint length is 2 weeks then we will say throughput is 10 and divided by 2 weeks is a sprint then that, that means uh, throughput is we can define as a 5 user story we can deliver within a week this is all about a throughput in agile